Hello and welcome. My name is Tracy Fitch and today I'm going to be showing you how to make several items that you can use with your students with CBI when you are assessing them as well as just working with them on a daily basis. So the things that we are going to be making today are a felt presentation board that you can attach visual targets to, the visual targets with the Velcro attached, a slinky book, homemade swirly mats, shape cutouts um, to use with swirly mats on a light box, and a calendar matching activity or game. All right, so let's get started. And the third item today that we're gonna make is a slinky book. The items needed for this activity include some sturdy black cardstock, um, you'll also need a slinky, and these can just be the cheap, um, small ones that you buy at the Dollar Tree. Um, any color, but if you're making one specifically for a child, then you'll want to do the preferred color or the matching color to the one that they are used to seeing. We'll also need a pair of scissors, a hot glue gun, um, and a stapler or a way to bind a book. Okay, so the next item that we're gonna make today is a slinky book. Um, very easy to make. Um, you just need black cardstock. And honestly, I didn't even, this isn't even cardstock. This is a giant piece of black poster board that I cut up into smaller pieces. And you can get a full piece of black poster board. Again, where? At the Dollar Tree, right? So at a dollar store, easy to buy. Um, like I said, you can buy a big pack of black cardstock if you want as well, um, which is, I think is what was sent to you in your packet. Um, but um, you can easily make your own pieces of black cardstock just using a piece of um, black poster board and you can cut it up into pieces. So the pieces that I'm using here are about 12 by six size. Um, and the slinkies, once again, are just a Dollar Tree slinky. You can get them in all sorts of colors and they even kind of have the Mylar um, reflective um, look to them. So that's also a benefit for kids with CDI, um, which even this green one, as you can tell, has that Mylar element. So this is what the slinky book looks like made. So it's basically kind of in positions as well. So the first piece is on, the first slinky is in the center of the page, then the top, then the right, then the left, then the bottom. So for this particular positional slinky book, I needed one, two, three, four, five pieces of the black, you know, cardstock. Um, and all I did was, as you can see, staple the sides together. Okay. Um, and then this is just another example of the book. So this is items that I found. Um, I got some <laughs> uh, orange uh, streamer stuck to it. But these are just items that I found. And once again, like I told you, you know, the sturdy um, Velcro. This is Dollar Tree Velcro, Velcro and it does not stay on. Um, but it's staying on the item, but I did Velcro all the items. But these are just things that I found at the Dollar Tree. This is where the, we had this guy earlier. That's where he was, but like I said, the Velcro decided to die on me. Um, so we had the leaf, the spider, a bat, and then the beads attached the same way that I showed you earlier. So this is kind of like a Halloween themed book. Um, but today I'm gonna to show you about how to do the slinky one specifically. So while we are waiting for my hot glue gun to heat, and this is just a very simplistic hot glue gun, it doesn't need to be fancy. You can also use, um, uh, I'm having a hard time opening this box. You can also use super glue or Gorilla Glue or some sort of strong glue, um, but I prefer hot glue. So we're gonna open the slinky, all right? And what we're gonna do is, if we want 
five, we're gonna take this slinky and we're gonna cut it into five pieces. So first, we're just gonna go for four today to show you how to make it even. So the easiest way to make it even would be to just kind of find the center and you're just gonna take hold of one of the center rungs of the slinky and you're gonna take your scissors and you're just gonna cut it. The great thing about Dollar Tree slinkies is they're easy to cut. <laughs> and then to make two more, you're just gonna find another halfway point. You're just gonna kind of gauge it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Find that, grab hold of that middle rung, put your scissors between it on either side of it and just cut it. And then do the same thing with this one. So we're just gonna split it in half grab that middle rung, cut it. And now we have four relatively even slinkies, okay? And today I'm just going to, sh and I'm going to show you how to attach it to the page. Let me check and see if my hot glue is good. All right, it's starting to come out. So what I like to do is take this side, pick up the slinky in one hand, and your hot glue gun in your other hand. And you're going to put, very carefully, please do not burn yourself, you're going to put the hot glue around the edge of the slinky itself. You wanna do it fast enough so that you can get it down before it dries and slow enough to where you don't hurt yourself. And then you're gonna flip it over and push it down. Make sure you know what position you want it on the page to so make sure you know, okay, I'm definitely putting this one in the center of the page um, before you flip it on down onto the page. All right, and press it down after you flip it over to give it a few seconds to you know, firmly get on. Um, there's a little piece that got stuck there. But now we have our slinky attached. And this time we're going to put it on the right hand side of the page. So what basically we're gonna do a very simplistic one. So the one I showed you earlier is um, where I did, it's actually a smaller size slinky and we did middle, top, bottom, right, left. Today we're just going to do middle, right, and left with this slinky. So once again, you're gonna take your slinky in one hand and your hot glue gun in the other hand. And you're just gonna go around and get the hot glue gun, hot glue as best you can on that bottom rung of the slinky, okay? All right, and I'm gonna put this one on the right side. Plop it on down, press. Okay, and there you go. And you might need to like pull up the bottom piece if it got stuck. And you just wanna make sure that, oh, you know, you can still pull it. So there's a little bit of hot glue, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And there you go. It's not gonna be perfect. It might be a little messy, but that's okay. So we're gonna take a third one and we're just gonna hold it in one hand. Remember, be careful with your fingers. Get that hot glue so that it's as evenly on the rungs of that bottom one as best you can. And then flip it, we're doing the left side. Hold, 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 hold. Remember, press down. I accidentally hot glued some of the bottom rungs to it, but that's okay. You just pull up and get all of it but the bottom one down, and you are good to go. All right, so now what we're gonna do is, sometimes it's better to, um, I've done it both ways where I have created it. If you have a, um, a binding machine, that's probably like the easiest way, but you can very easily just staple. Okay, one other way that you can make a slinky book is to use these like black um, cardstock index cards. I actually bought a big pack of these um, 
from Wish, um, but I'm sure you can find black index cards other places. So same kind of thing. Um, just put a slinky on it like so. Do your hot glue the same way. Oops, I am not staying on this time. I'm doing what I tell you guys not to do. I'm burning myself. Okay, and then stick it on. Raise your hand if you're a teacher who's burned herself themselves with hot glue, right? How many hot glue um, burns have I gotten over the years? Okay, or just a crafter in general, right? Okay, so you attach it like so. And then I don't have a single hole punch, so I'm just gonna use this whole three hole punch to punch the corner. That's not the best punch. Let's see, maybe I can move it farther in using this side. Oh well, it's okay. All right, and then what you can do is if you make multiples, then you can attach them. They'd probably be better to use a single hole punch, but like I said, I didn't have one. And then you can attach them using like a, a ring like this. Um, and then you can show one card at a time like this. And you could also do it with like smaller things. You know, you could cut some shapes out of mylar paper and put different shapes. You could do it with like letters. If you're doing literacy, if they're, you know, phase two and they're working on literacy and you want to do some uh, letters and numbers or shapes or anything like that. You could easily do that and then put it on a ring. So that's another way you can work with it.